In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the problems in this activity. 3.2.3 beam analysis. And I'm going to show you how to solve the problems using MD solids. I'm going to start out by opening MD solids. Select determinant beams. Select this beam configuration. Set the total length to 16 feet. Make sure you specify feet. The beam is going to be supported at one end at length 0 and at the other end at length 16. Select Enter. I'm going to insert a uniform load per the problem set. The uniform loads are 100 pounds per feet. Select this icon. The uniform load starts at zero and goes all the way to the end of the beam, all the way out to 16 feet. And the magnitude is 100 pounds per linear feet. Select Enter. And you notice that it automatically generates your shear diagram and your moment diagram. I'm going to add a point load, a concentrated load. Select this icon. The load is going to be at 4 feet, about here. And the magnitude is going to be 500 pounds. And hit Enter. And you notice that it updates your uh, shear diagram and your moment diagram. One thing to be careful, if you add a, another concentrated load, and if you superimpose it over the first uh, at 4 feet, and you hit Enter, now you'll have a P2 superimposed over P1, and you may not realize it. Best practice is that uh, when you're done, come to Loads and select Undo Load, and notice that I've uh, deleted P2. Now I have P1 there visible. And when you go to your second problem, uh, undo the loads, undo them all, so that you start out with, with no loads on the beam. You don't want to superimpose one load over another. And you could also redo your load, go forward. When you have your diagram the way it's specified in the problem, use your SNP tool, this icon. Select New. Select the, the diagrams. Save them to your Documents folder as a JPEG. And then you could submit the JPEG to the Project Lead the Way Problem Set. 